Hi, in this video I'm going to demonstrate how to install the lift for this trailer. Right, since the lift is broken, I've just used a wooden pole to hold the trailer door open. Now the old one broke and the fastening point is actually still sitting here. So all I need to do is remove it and all you do is you insert the screwdriver into the back. And then you peel it open and as you can see it just comes off like that. Right, same story for this side. Right, so just having a look at why that works. See, if you look at the back, you can see that there's a space there. Insert the screwdriver. What happens is this metal clip is wrapped around and it tightens itself on the nipple. So there's the nipple and the clip tightens around that bubble. Therefore, when you put the screwdriver at the back, what you're doing is you're opening the mouth there, allowing it to come off that bubble or that nipple. Right, so the one on the right you can see is open, and the one on the left you can see there's these steel clips which are going around that bubble. Right, so now it's time to install the new lift. Right, now you can see it comes with the attachment screw, and I don't need it because I've already got the attachment point there. So I'm going to just remove this one over here by following the same procedure. So I'm just going to put the screwdriver in the back and then open the mouth a little bit and it'll allow me to pull out this. Now to put this on is quite easy. You just have to press it on like that. And now the same on this side. I'm just going to remove the part I don't need. Right. And then all I did is I squeezed it on and now the lift is in place. When I close the trailer door, the canister stays horizontal. And why that's important is usually if the canister part, this part, is going to be upside down, it might be better to install it upside down so that when the door closes that it is the right way around. Just because if it leaks, you won't get a whole mess in your trailer. But in this case, it doesn't matter because when the door is closed, it's actually horizontal. If your trailer door is something like this and it actually rotates the lift as the door opens and closes, well in that case it might be better to install the lift uh, this way around so it's actually upside down when it's open because if it leaks it won't leak everywhere in your trailer. Alright, thanks for watching and cheers.